Hey there y'all, let's look at 6.9 on solving logarithmic equations and inequalities. Our objective today will be to solve both of those being equations and inequalities, and our standards are still focusing on being able to solve these equations and deal with logarithms. So in example one, log base 8 of x is equal to 4 thirds. Um, so remember that logs are the inverse of exponentials. And so a lot of times the best way to solve these is by switching them from logs to exponentials and to be thinking about them that way. And so remember that if I have log base b of x is equal to y, that converts to b to the y is equal to x, right? So we can rewrite this as 8 to the 4 thirds is equal to x. And so if that's the case, then I need to find what is the 4 thirds power of 8. Well, remember dealing with those rational powers, this would be the cube root of 8 raised to the 4th power is equal to x. What's the cube root of 8? What times itself times itself gives us 8? Well, that's 2. And 2 to the 4th is 16. So x is equal to 16. That's it with these. It's super simple, right? So again, if you'll just convert your log to an exponential, it'll come out very quickly, all right? Now let's talk about a property of equality for logarithmic functions. If b is a positive number other than one, because remember your base of exponentials cannot be one, then log base b of x is equal to log base b of y if the x is equal to y, if and only if, right? So if we just have x is equal to y, then we can convert them both to logs, right? And so here we have, in example two, log base four of x squared is equal to log base four of negative six x minus eight. And so because the log portions, including the base, are the same, I can forget about the logs and just solve what the logs are taken of. So I get that x squared is equal to negative 6x minus 8. This is a quadratic because of the square, so I'm going to have to solve this equal to 0. So moving everything to one side, x squared plus 6x plus 8 is equal to 0. Go back to chapter 3 for a minute when we talk about quadratics, right? How would I solve this? Well, let's look at our x puzzle, right? 8 would be the top, 6 is the bottom. What's going to multiply to 8 and add to 6? Well, that would be 2 times 4 is 8, and 2 plus 4 is 6. And so I'm going to get, and our a was 1, so this becomes a little bit easier, x plus 2 times x plus 4 equals 0, right? Remember, if our a is 1, we need to substitute this in and write it out as x squared plus 2x plus 4x, plus 8, and then do our factor by grouping. So again, if the a is not 1, you'll have to do factor by grouping. But if the a is 1, we've, we've got a little step that we can skip. And so now, setting each of these equal to 0, we get x is equal to negative 2, and x is equal to negative 4. Now, the question becomes, are both of these solutions? Remember that we could take the log of anything. It could be positive or it could be negative, right? So log base b of whatever's in there, right? So it doesn't matter that it's positive or negative. Um, we'll list both of those numbers in numerical order. Negative 4 and negative 2 are both solutions to this. It will work for both. Because if I plug in the negative 4, I get 16, right? And on the right side, um, negative 6 times negative 4 is a positive 24, and 24 minus 8 is 16. So I get log base 4 of 16 is equal to log base 4 of 16. So it works out perfect there. Okay. So again, they're not always going to be quadratic problems, but if it is a quadratic, you'll have to use your quadratic methods. If it's a cubic function, you'll have to deal with that and what properties that we've talked about in those chapters. All right, so that's equations. Equations are pretty straightforward, and, and we've looked at some of those already in this unit um, in the last couple of days. All right, so let's check out what we've got to do for inequalities. A couple of properties we need to look at here. First, our base has to be larger than 1. That's typical, right? Our x being greater than 0, then we get this. If we have a single log greater than a value, right? So log base b of x is greater than y. Then we can use our exponential property and convert this around. The x, so that's what we take the log of, 
is greater than b to the y, okay? And if we deal with that in our second problem with a less than sign, it comes out the same way. But remember that our x has to be greater than 0. So our inequality comes out as 0 less than x less than b to the y, okay? And so let's see how that works out in these next couple of problems. So in problem 3 here, we've got log base 4 of x is greater than 256. So that is property 1 here. And so converting this to an exponential, I'm going to get um, to the 256 because that's our... Um, sorry, let me back up. It won't be our 256 first. Remember, our x is here, our x is here, right? So the x will be the left side is greater than our b, which is 4, right, to the 256. And so what is 4 to the 256 power? Well, we need to go to our calculator for that one because that one is huge. So what is 4 to the power, no, not 4 squared, um, 4 to the, come on, 256 power is 1.3 times 10 to the uh, 154th. It makes me question, did I copy this problem right? Because that comes out to a really big number. But that would be what this is, right? X would have to be greater than 1.3 times 10 to the 100 and, what is it, 54th power? Double checking that answer, 154th power, right? So with that being said, uh, again, I feel like I copied this problem a little wrong that, you know, I probably should have had log base 4 of 256 is greater than y, um, but... It is what it is, right? So, let's say, let's do one more. Let's do log base 3 of x is less than, um, let's go with 81, right? So, when we convert this over, right, what goes where? Well, we're going to get 3 to what? The... Let's not use 81. That's that's going to give me another crazy one, right? 3. Let's go with 4 here. Log base 3 of x is less than 4, right? So I get 3 to the 4th, right? But my x is going to be in the middle here, and that's going to be 0 to the left. So 0 is less than x, which is less than what? 81. So my x could be any value between 0 and 81. So I could have log base 3 of 50 is less than 4. Because log base 3 of 50 would come out to 3 point something, right? Because it would be between 27 and 81. Okay, does that make sense for those? I hope that does. If it doesn't, um, sorry that that first one came out to a really large number. Um, but again, it could, right? I mean, there's nothing to say that it can't come out to huge numbers. Um, so that's actually kind of a good mistake that I made there. All right, let's talk about properties of um, inequalities here. Zoom this out a little bit for y'all. If b is greater than 1, so again, our base is greater than 1, then if I have two logs, one greater than the other, x is greater than y, right? Because, again, if I have two logs that are the same and they're equal to each other, they're equal to each other. And again, if the inequality is in the other direction, the same is also true. So if x is greater than y, then the logs of those would be in the same direction. Same with less than. So let's look at example 4 and what that means for this problem. So I've got log base 5 of 3x minus 1 is greater than log base 5 of x plus 7. And so because the log pieces are the same, I can ignore the log pieces, right? And just right, 3x minus 1 is greater than x plus 7. The inequality sign will not flip. It will not do anything crazy when we do logs on both sides. Again, if we only have one log, then we've got to deal with um, less than not being less than 0, right? So 3x minus 1 is greater than x plus 7. This is just going back to simple middle school you know, pre-algebra here. Uh, we'll subtract the x from both sides. We're going to add the 1 to both sides. And so that cancels, that cancels. So we get that 2x is greater than 8, meaning that x is greater than 4. 
And we could plug in something that's greater than 4 on both sides. So let's say 5, right? So 3 times 5 is 15, minus 1 is 14. And over here we get 5 plus 7, which is 12. So that does come out true. And so that's it for today. Um, today's word of the day is inequality. Again, the word of the day is inequality. Um, don't forget about the office hours, um, one to four today, and I'll change that in um, Google Classroom as well, just in that reminder. Um, but otherwise, y'all have a great day, and if you need any help, reach out. We're on our final week, y'all. Let's keep pushing through this. Y'all are doing great. So y'all have a great day.